going on guys, Ashtino Blazer and welcome back to the FIFA 16 Sheffield United career mode series and today we have another huge episode in episode 19 of season 4. It is just three games, just like any other episode, you could argue, but it's two more Premier League games on the road to potential Premier League success with three points clear with just six games left to go, so two more of those games to be played today in the title race. First of them is against Watford and sandwiched between the Watford and Leicester games we have the second leg against Barcelona. A chance, and I mean a chance because there's no guarantees against a top class side to make it through to the Champions League semi-finals. And if we can beat Barcelona, who is there that we can't beat in this tournament? So yeah. As you can see, best defensive team, a record I am proud of because I did sign two defenders in summer to try and improve that area and it clearly has had an effect. And here we were looking to score early on and we hit the bar through Dicko. He's normally reliable with his finishing but Bruma's cutback was not finished. But this time it's Triore in behind and he has the chance it's well saved. Watford were hanging on a bit. and. Not too far from half time, we continued to press them. Dicko with the ball into Bergwijn and he finally scores. He's on a bit of a good scoring run now actually, after the goals dried up. He scored again against Watford for the second time this season and it's his fourth Premier League goal. And at 1-0, it's 1-0 at half time, no, I don't even know what I'm saying. I screw so many things up on a spectacular scale, it is not even funny but... Um, yeah, I mean, one thing I haven't screwed up on is having us in the lead in the second half, although we nearly lost that lead with a good save required from Vidra's effort. And Talisso, I can't even pronounce the names of my players, puts in the cross. It's 2 0. It was a teasing ball, a brilliant delivery. I knew Hadiko does the rest. Last season's top scorer. He is in fine goal scoring form at the moment and that is a true strikers header into the net. His 12th goal of the season was enough for a 2-0 victory over Watford and a league double. We are now just five games away from winning the Barclays Premier League in season four of this career mode and what an achievement it would be. But still Barcelona at home and Leicester at the king power to come. So on to that Barcelona game and we're going to be forgetting about the league throughout the 90 minutes in this one because it is so huge for our season in this season 4 of the career mode. This could be the most successful season yet if we win both of the tournaments we're in the competition to win. So um, yeah we are in with a chance of winning this if we can get past Barca but that is obviously not to be taken for granted. You cannot take for granted any kind of win against Barcelona. Because, yes, we may have two away goals to our name, but what if they beat us? We can't have them beat us. We have to try and at least get us a draw. At least a draw. So it's not going to be easy. No one said it was, though. And here, though, we have a chance to maybe go 1 0 up, and Declan John, of all people, it could fall to not the person you would want it to fall to because he's not gonna finish that one and could we be punished for that a clear-cut chance they have great passing ability and they've sliced through us what a goal as well Rakitic with the finishing touch and there was just nothing we could do but you could argue there's far too much space between the defenders but we were looking to get back into it and Tulliso who scored in the first leg it's a brilliant equaliser absolutely fantastic goal in off the post and it's 1-1 he is in fine form at the moment he got an assist in the last game and now he is the scorer he has scored the second goal in this tie against Barcelona and they are his only two goals in this tournament so a brilliant response to going behind and as it stands we're still going through on away goals I would say at this point this is the time to perhaps keep a solid defence and only counter-attack when we need to and when we have a good opportunity to do so. 
and as you can see, nerves kicking in here as Suarez forces a good save from Marita Balaga. You can understand the nerves with so much at stake and the potential for a historic victory. But there was so much more work to do and Suarez again with a header and it was well saved. But this time Agard who subbed on, he has a good chance. Can he score to make it 2-1? It's a good save by Bravo to keep them in the contest. And nearly time up. But there was one more chance. Neymar for Suarez all the way through on goal. And his shot was saved brilliantly by Ritza Balaga. What a save. Heroic save. And we win on aggregate on our way goals. What a victory. No words can describe this. It is just simply unbelievable. 3-3 free free on aggregate. 1-1 on the night. And an away goals victory against Barcelona. That is the greatest triumph so far. And it will be hard to find anything that tops it. However, it still could be done if we go on to reach the final of the Champions League. But we don't know yet who we've got in the semi-finals. So for now, back to the league. And we are at the King Power Stadium, the home of in real life new Premier League champions Leicester. But we are going to be hoping to win at the King Power in order to keep our own title bid alive. So, um, in this team, um, Leicester, in this game at least, they apparently have the worst scoring record in the league. I find that really hard to believe, but then... Vardy doesn't seem to play for them, so yeah, early on though, what a header that is by Bertrand Traore, and he goes so, so close to scoring, and that was really unlucky for him actually. Powerful header though, off the bar, and this time he hits the bar again, it's a good save actually from the Leicester keeper, um, and they were on the ropes a bit, but they were hanging on, and Bergvine, who scored against Watford, goes close with a drive but it was nil nil at half time and if we were to maintain the three point gap over Spurs we were gonna have to find a winner from somewhere but they weren't making it easy for us they were offering a lot of resistance and um, we we're gonna have to try and cut through them but our pace nearly got us through however finishing again just not quite on point the finishing has let us down there and now Traore with a free kick in a good position and it's a header that should have been in. Yes, maybe it's Bentaleb, but he should have scored. However, we nearly make up for it. It's Burns and he can't score again. The finish is not good enough and the touch was too heavy, but there was more chances. Bergvine's corner and it's on to Wisdom's head. He scores to make it 1-0 with five minutes left and a dramatic late winner at the King Power Stadium. From the right back of all players to score, it is a header that should have been dealt with, but it wasn't. And could this give us the win? Not a lot left in the game. And Wisdom, the goal scorer on the ball, he is just trying to keep hold of the ball here. But we lose it. Is there any time for another attack? It's a potentially good ball, but we cut it out and surely that's going to be it. And the referee blows his whistle for full time. And we are going to at least have that three point gap with just four games left. It's looking very much like we are going to win the Premier League title as long as we hold our nerve and win every game we play. If we win every game from now to the end of the season, there's nothing Spurs can do. And this table just confirms it. 34 games played, 73 points, what a run and we are on a very good points tally for this time of the season. Without a doubt going to be our best season so far and there's still plenty more to come so that is the end of this episode. Hopefully you have enjoyed as always and if you did you know what to do. Leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.